Now at 6, officer ambushed a veteran officer shot while sitting in his patrol car, and tonight the accused gunman is in police custody. Police have identified the man who they say opened fire on the officer. He's a 24-year-old man from Aventura with a criminal past. The officer is expected to make a full recovery. He underwent surgery at Aventura Hospital. Tonight, we've got live team coverage, beginning with CBS 4's Joan Murray, live in Miami Gardens with the latest on the investigation. Joan? Good evening, Elliot. Well, that suspect, David Mejia, is still at police headquarters. We do expect he's going to be transported to jail at any time. He is charged with attempted murder on a police officer. He does have a criminal background. He has been arrested before on burglary and theft charges. But it's hard to say what led to this accused crime spree earlier today. He ambushed someone who's employed to protect and serve our citizens. 24-year-old David Mejia is accused of trying to kill a police officer who is on duty in uniform. 8.30 Friday morning, Miami Gardens police say he pulled up to Officer David Starling, who was sitting in his marked car and unloaded a handgun. Rescue 54 received responding with Air 11 Northwest 183rd Street and 7th Avenue. It's going to be behind the racetrack gas station. Officer Starling took a bullet to the back side and calmly called dispatch, then began following the suspect. As other officers from the Miami Gardens Police Department uh, joined the chase, the subject then at approximately 20th Avenue leaned out the window with a firearm and began to fire at the officers who were in pursuit of him. Eventually, Mejia crashed into a pickup and bailed out of his car. Police collared him a short time later. If you have that much hate and aggression to attempt to assassinate a police officer who's paid to protect and serve, there's no justification for it. As Officer Starling's bullet-riddled cruiser and the suspect's smashed BMW were towed to headquarters, the FBI offered assistance, but later determined there was no terrorist link. Gardens police say Mejia acted alone, targeting someone in uniform. The violence must stop. I want to commend the officers from the Miami Gardens Police Department for not only apprehending this individual, but doing it with professionalism. And it's kind of hard to say doing it with professionalism when you're undertaking fire. Now, just about 30 seconds ago, police car and another one following it pulled out here. Um, it is possible that that was Mejia being taken to jail.